Okay, thought I'd do an updated video on my electric over pneumatic manual central tire inflation system controller in my LMTV. Um, the uh, original one, um, I took a, a dead controller, scooped the guts out of it, and put a couple switches across it and put it back in the same place. Uh, worked great, but not very ergonomic. A um, little bit of a stretch to reach it, um, and the angle to push the buttons is difficult. It's hard to see the gauge. So uh, I'm turning this LMTV into an RV, so I didn't uh, want or need rear trailer air. So I removed all of that system, which left me room up here in the air control panel above the park brake control um, to install the CTIS control. Um, made a little, couple little changes to the circuit. I added a latching circuit for the control valve. Um, so it, uh, it latches when you hit inflate and stays latched as long as power is applied to the system. So let's turn around and play with it. Um, I put in a dual digital air pressure gauge. Um, the top gauge reads wet tank pressure as measured at the fan control solenoid. So that's whatever air is making it through the air brake protection valve in the wet tank. The bottom reading is uh, PCU manifold pressure um, over at the same place where the, uh, the standard central tire inflation system controller would sample its pressure from over on the manifold. So in order to check pressure, um, I have this double switch over here. Uh, up is inflate, down is deflate. It's a self-centering switch, so you just close the guard and it goes back to neutral. So let's set it to inflate, give it a shot of air. That'll open the wheel valves, and the manifold will stabilize at the current tire pressure is 80 PSI. Uh, if I want to continue to inflate, um, since I'm already in inflate mode, uh, I just press this button. And the wet tank pressure will drop. Um, the tire pressure will increase slowly. The closer they get together, the slower the flow. Um, takes a long time to fill these tires. This uh, this pressure will basically become really inaccurate below 85 PSI where the uh, air brake protection valve closes on the wet tank. So uh, then if this is open, these two will fairly quickly come into coincidence as it equalizes uh, the rest of the pressure in the system with the tire pressure. Um, to deflate, uh, set the switch down to the deflate position uh, when I push it. You know, that wish of air in the cab is air coming out of the relief valve on the pressure control unit. Drops the system side pressure to 7 PSI, which causes the dump valves to shift into dump mode and dump tire air, trying to make them equal that same 7 PSI. Um, the dump valves also feed a little bit of air back so that you can still see that same 7 PSI. Um, when I release it, the truck side pressure starts to increase. And you can hear the dump valve slowing down. The closer they get together, the slower the dump. I'm going to go ahead and halt it right now just by putting it in flight, giving the truck side a shot of air, which will sh be more air than the tires have in them, and shift us back into just tire pressure mode and close the dump valves. Um, and you notice we went from 80 to 69 psi in just that little bit of dump. So the the air comes out of the tires via the dump valves way faster than you can put it in. Well, that's about it. When you're done with the system, drop that, the control valve opens, and vents the system, all the wheel valves close, and that's it. Anyway, have a good day.